welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to episode 10 of the Spring Reset video series. So this video tonight is a sit down and chat session. Um, it's been so busy this week. I haven't had any time to film because when I get home from work, the last thing I want to do is sit down and film a video. I just want to do my skincare and relax with the family. So that's what I've been doing. Um, tonight I have some time to film a video and I actually feel pretty good today. Um, this week I did go back into lifting weights. However, I did not make it to the gym because my body is requiring, requiring more sleep this week. And so I've been sleeping in. So I have um, dumbbells here at home. So I've been picking them up and I've been lifting them. Woohoo! <laughs> so that makes me feel really, really good. Um, my eating needs to be, you know, put into check, which I'm going to be working on uh, again next week. Um, I have a whole um, set plan I'm going to follow next week and see how that goes. I get cravings, and I think it's going to be that time of the month here for me soon. So my cravings are kind of like, oh, and when I, when I have cravings, I crave dark chocolate, and I crave Mexican food. So Mexican food is my favorite cuisine, <laughs> and I crave it like crazy right before I start my monthly friend. So I have a list of things that I want to talk to you guys here about tonight. Um, so the first thing I want to go over um, is actually the Pico Toner because I'm getting a lot of you reaching out to me wanting to pick up the Pico Toner and you want to purchase the attachments that go along with it and you wanted to get my recommendations on what you should get at the time of your order. Now, I will tell you, when you order your Pico Toner, if you do not pick up the Infinity Probes, they do send you a coupon to use to pick them up at a later time and it's a pretty good discount. It's like, I think, I wanna say it's like $70. That's how I got my um, Infinity Probes. So what comes with your Pico Toner in the box? So let me open up mine. I'm going to get a case for this. Um, I'm thinking about getting like a square makeup case that would be something that I could also fit the probes in and just keep it in one unit instead of having to go in and out of the box because I wanna keep my Pico Toner safe and I don't want it to drop or get damaged or anything. So you get your Pico Toner. Now Pico Toner 2, the difference between the original Pico Toner and Pico Toner 2 is that the, the Pico Toner 2 has two ports on the device. You have one on here and one over here. The old Pico Toner only had one. So this is so that you can have a couple of attachments running at the same time. Like if you wanted to use the facial toning pads, you can stick them on your chest and then you can use the JMM Lift Probe on your face, the gloves, or the infinity probes, okay? So that's what that is. So you can have a couple things going at the same time. When you get your Pico Toner, I did do an unboxing video of this. You get these black conductive gloves. Now, if the gloves are the main thing that you will be using with, or the main attachment that you will be using with your Pico Toner, I would suggest that you upgrade the gloves. So they have these black ones and they have a light gray pair. The light gray pair are better quality. They're a little bit thicker and they conduct better. So as what I'm told, I've been speaking with a couple of um, new esthetician friends that I've um, bonded with and they all use Neurotrous devices and they said that the dark gray or not the dark gray, but the gray gloves are better than these ones They're thicker and they conduct better. So if the gloves are your main focus with the Pico toner I would suggest upgrading those so picking up those at the time of your purchase. So you get the gloves You get one port cable, okay now what I decided to add on to my order is the quad cable. And the reason why I ordered the quad cable is because I picked up 
a pack of their, these come in a pack of 24. It's their facial toning pads. Now, if you're familiar with your Myolith devices, they have those um, conductive masks, right? Well, that, that's what you could use these for. You can also put them on Mize Beige to conduct into the skin. You can place them in areas like I did um, a video in the series recently where I was testing the facial toning pads. I put two pads here and two pads here to do an eye and jawline treatment. And then I did it on the other side, but what you would do, you wouldn't do it like how I did it. Unless you wanted to, you could. You could treat your eye on this side and your jaw on this side. Then when that treatment's over, you come over here and place the pads over here and over here. You can use them to lift your forehead. You can use them to do a cheek lift. There's so many different ways that you can use these facial toning pads. You can put them on your chest to do a treatment. You can put it in the back of your shoulders while you're using the gloves. So many different options. So you get a pack of 24 and each pack, there's four of the toning pads. Now, I picked these up because I like to treat those areas when I don't have the time or patience to sit there with a, a probe and doing all the movements. I just want to get a quick treatment in, kick back and relax. So I definitely recommend these with the quad cable because if you don't get the quad cable, you're only able to use two at the same time. So if you just wanted to treat your jawline, you would have to put two here and then when it's finished, then two over here. With the quad cable, you can treat the whole jawline at the same time or do your eye treatment at the same time. So facial toning pads, quad cable. When you get, when you pick up your quad cable, you will get an additional port cord, okay? And this will be handy for when you want to use two attachments at the same time. Now, another thing that I picked up was the alligator clips. I picked up a four pack, which is a pair, two, two red and two black, which is positive and negative. And the reason why I picked up four, oops, what are you doing, Misha? she's over here growling, is that if you're going to use a sheet mask and you want to conduct it into the skin for product penetration or just a nice relaxing treatment, you have to put two on each side. So I got these and you would want to use these with the quad cable. Otherwise, you would only be able to use two with the cable that comes with your Pico toner. Now, that's what I... I originally picked up the facial toning pads and the quad cable. And what I added after was the alligator clips to my order of the infinity probes. Now I'm going to go over those infinity probes here in a second. I just want to clear out some things so I don't end up like dropping anything and breaking it. So <clears throat> with the infinity probes, I will tell you there is a learning curve. I did a treatment with them the other night and I loved it. I followed along with my from microcurrents uh, microcurrent loves video on um, using the infinity probes and it was amazing. She makes it look so easy <laughs> to use those probes and I had such a hard time because it's awkward and I'll, I'll show you the reason um, behind why I say it's awkward. So I'm just going to put this back. I'm sorry I have to do this on camera, but I have to make sure that I do not break my Pico toner because if I break it, that's it. I cannot have that happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna close it up. Now with the Infinity Probes, I used my coupon that they emailed me after my purchase of the Pico toner. Here they are. Now I will tell you that these are on the heavy side. They are pretty heavy in the hand. They are a bit awkward to use. So if you are not a fan of the Myolift Mini probes, then you won't be a fan of these. But however, what I will tell you is that you can cover a larger area and like you could cover your whole cheek 
with these probes and most of your jawline with them versus the Myolift mini probes where you have to go in all those different sections. You don't have to do that with these probes. So that makes it so nice. Um, so if you have issues with your hands to where you can't really lift anything heavy, I would say like uh, this, these have to weigh at least a pound or a pound and a half each. That's how heavy. This one is heavier than um, this one. This one has a smaller um, wand versus this one. So this is your positive and this is your negative. And where you would want to make sure that the negative is over the positive is when you're doing lifting movements, okay? And then if you're doing the erase technique that I showed you where you take... Uh, you have your unit on P1, which is lifting and toning, also plumps the skin and helps with fine lines and wrinkles. You would hold your negative probe above, and then you would take your positive probe and just go in circles. And you can work on those fine lines and wrinkles. Going like this, do it around your eyes, come right here in the forehead, over here on your chest. And what this erase mode does too, is it actually helps with lifting sun damage out of the skin. See, the Pico Toner is absolutely amazing. Now, however, if you don't like the probes because it's just too much work, it's not your thing, I my favorite way to use the Pico Toner is actually the Jane Man Lift. You guys all know that if you've been following along, I love my Jane Man Lift. And if I was to travel with the Pico Toner, the lift would be coming with me, okay? So let me put those out of the way. So with your Jane Man Lift, when you purchase your Pico Toner, you do have the option to add on all these attachments. And some of them are a little bit cheaper than the others. Like the probes, there's a discount, but I think the coupon code that they email you, I think it's cheaper, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, at the time of your purchase, you can add on some of these attachments, and one of them is the Jane Man Lift. Now, if you don't have a Jane Man Lift already, you can pick it up at the time of purchase, and it is slightly discounted. So, Neurotris charges $3.95 for the Jane Man Lift. At the time of your purchase of the Pico Toner, they offer you it discounted at $3.70. Now, with the Jane Man Lift, you can also pick it up at Art of Skincare. They sell it for $3.90, but right now they have a promotion to where if you purchase the Jane Man Lift, they will automatically give you, let me see if I have it. Oh, I don't have it close by. They'll give you a free full size of the Hop House of PLLA, Promoter Collagen Conductive Gel, which is a $90 value. So you have to see which one is the better deal for you. If you don't like that gel, then you would probably wanna go with purchasing this at the time of your Pico Toner. So if you don't purchase this at the time that you purchase your Pico Toner, it will be $3.90 from Neurotris. Artist Skin Care has it for $3.90, okay? Um, if you live um, out of the country, in, or out, outside the U.S. and you want a Jane Man Lift, Neurotris does ship internationally. And you can email Jane Man, and she will um, let you know how much it is to ship internationally because she does ship internationally as well. So with the lift, I love it because it takes the thinking out of microcurrent. You don't have to do this special you know, pinching techniques. You could just place the lift here, lift up slightly on the bottom, and just hold. You can just do these holds with it, which takes the thinking out of microcurrent because these are perfectly spaced apart to where you get that full conduction. It just surges right there through that area back and forth. It's multifunctional. You can use it all over your face. There's no wrong way to use the Jane Man Lift. Now, the Jane Man Lift is multifunctional to the sense is if you do not put the pins in here and keep the metal balls, you can use these as probes on the face too. Misha's playing with my cord. So when you get your Jane Man Lift, I would highly recommend that you don't put the pins in because once you put the pins in, that's it, that's final. 
you cannot take them out. So having it with the magnetic balls is perfect because you can use these as a tool. So if you have areas where you have those fine lines and wrinkles and you want to treat them, you could just come in here, hold the negative right here, and then take the positive and just do those feathering techniques, right? You can also get in here and use it to plump up your lips. You can use it as an eye lift. Get in here and treat the lines and wrinkles around your eyes, your 11s, anywhere that you need to pay attention to those fine lines and wrinkles, you can use these little balls to help you out. <laughs> so the J-Man Lift is my preferred way to perform microcurrent. It's my favorite. It's really hard for me to break away from it because every time I use it, I get such an amazing treatment. It's fabulous. Now, one thing I forgot to point out when you purchase the Pico Toner, or I'm sorry, the Infinity Probes, is, um, you know, it's gonna have a drop down menu and asking you what device you have. So when you get it, because the Infinity Probes are meant to be used with the other Neurotris machines, okay? So you have these bigger pins on the ends and they give you the banana jack adapter so you can use it with your Pico toner. You just put the color over these ends and then you put your Pico toner adapters right through here. So you don't have to worry about that. You just let them know what device you have and it will come with the adapters for your Pico toner. So, I accidentally ordered a pair, so now I have a credit because I was kind of confused by the ordering when I purchased these, and now you guys know. <laughs> you don't have to purchase these separate. Okay, so as I was saying, yes, the J-Man Lift is my preferred way. I absolutely love it. You can use it on your body. You can, you know, I mainly use it on my face. I haven't tried it on my body yet with the Pico Toner for the body treatment, but I will. And I love to use the gloves on my bodies, on my body, um, like my arms and my legs, um, to treat the skin there. It is so good, guys. I love how the Pico Toner is multifunctional in the sense that it is medically and FDA cleared and registered to use on your body and over your thyroid. Like this area of my neck is looking so much better since I've been able to treat it with the Pico Toner. And you cannot do that with any other microcurrent device out on the market. Neurotris is not only FDA cleared and registered and medically cleared and registered, but they also have their, um, they also have their FDA license. So, Neurotris not only makes professional machines for us estheticians in the treatment room, but they also make medical devices too. So they are absolutely brilliant um, and their microcurrent technology is actually patented. It's called a dynamic microcurrent and it senses your skin impedance. Now, what is skin impedance? Well, skin impedance could be like you have oily skin, that's a skin impedance. Maybe you have a little bit more thicker skin, that's an impedance. You're dehydrated, maybe you have oils left on the skin. Everybody's skin impedance is different and not all microcurrents give you a full treatment because of that skin impedance. It kind of blocks some of the current from going in because microcurrent takes the path of least resistance. The Pico Toner <clears throat> senses the skin impedance and delivers you a pure form of the current. So you will always get a treatment and you won't be missing out like other devices where you tr you're trying your mic, you're doing your microcurrent device and you're not really seeing results. Well, because your skin has impedances that doesn't work with the other microcurrent device. With the Pico Toner, every time I use it, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I have allergies. And every time I talk a lot, like it starts flowing. I'm so sorry about that. <clears throat> so the Pico Toner, every time I use it, my skin looks fabulous. And since I've used 
the Pico Toner. I've never gotten so many compliments on my skin before. And I'm seeing some wonderful changes in my skin. Like my skin does feel more dense than what it did before. It's plumper. My fine lines have considerably plumped up. Like this is the most that I've seen my fine lines be plumped up in probably like the last year. Now granted, I don't have a lot of wrinkles, but I do have some considerably like around in this area because I smile a lot and I sleep on my side and I tuck my chin like this. So I'm starting to get wrinkles right in here. Well, since I've been using the Pico toner for the last three weeks, I have seen that considerably plump up. Amazing guys. So I'm gonna do a dedicated Pico toner video soon. I'm still testing it and the attachments, so we'll get there. I have to get uh, more comfortable with those infinity probes because <clears throat> they are a little bit difficult to use. I'm going to excuse myself because I'm gonna cough, so I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I'm back. So I wanna to talk to you guys about my device routine. So with the Pico toner, I'm going in about every 72 hours. My last treatment was on Tuesday, and I should use it tomorrow night, which is Friday, but I'm actually going to use it Saturday because it's my friend's 50th birthday party on Saturday, so I want my skin to look really good. So I'm gonna do a really, I'm gonna do a full on treatment with the Pico Toner. Maybe I'll be able to film it for you guys. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use it on Saturday. And I just noticed that with the Pico Toner, I do not need to do microcurrent all the time. I only need to perform it like every two or three days. And my skin looks so good in between. It's radiant. It's plump and juicy. It looks firm and toned. My fine lines are very, fairly visible. My skin texture and tone has improved. It just it, my skin just looks so good. It looks so healthy, healthier than what it did before. <clears throat> and here's something that I have recently learned. Um, you know, other microcurrent devices, they tell you that you can use it every day and some you have to use every day because they're not like a true form of microcurrent. They're using like a phoretic waveform or a galvanic waveform. Um, even EMS, okay? So those don't tend to jive well with our own natural current, and that's why we have to use those every day. Well, not EMS, but <clears throat> like your new face and your Foreo Bear, so we have to use them every day because the current that they use isn't a pure form. So our bodies don't recognize it as much, and we have to use it every day in order to keep that lift because once you stop using it, it goes back to the way it was before. <clears throat> and with the Pico Toner, and I could see this with the MyLift devices too because when I used microcurrent like every other day with the MyLift devices or every day, my skin didn't look so hot because microcurrent is you know, stimulating your cells, stimulating that cellular energy, cellular metabolism, um, collagen and elastin, and it's stimulating, right? Well, you have to give those cells time to regenerate. And if you're constantly stimulating the skin, just like we don't do peels every day, you don't, you're not giving it time to repair and regenerate. And what happens is, you get what I like to call overworked skin, where your skin just looks really saggy, it looks lifeless, it doesn't look good, you look older than what you did before. Well, that's because you're giving it too much stimulation. There, We have to let it rest, just like when you go to the gym. If you work that same muscle, like if I work biceps today, I'm not gonna go and work my biceps again. You wanna take 48 hours in between, like two days, in between at least before you work that same muscle group again because if you don't you don't give it time to regenerate and build muscle to firm and tone and tighten same thing for your skin i hope that makes sense so with the pico toner i definitely feel like i don't need to use it every day every three days has been great and sometimes it's a little bit hard because i want to go in and use it because I just love my treatment so much, but I have to stop myself. Now, 
Neurotris does recommend that, you know, one day you can do P2 and then the next day you can do P1 and then you take a couple days in between and restart that again. Or you can just do one long session like I usually do and then repeat it, excuse me, repeat it. <clears throat> I coughed and was talking at the same time. You can repeat it, you know, <clears throat> every three days. So enough about the Pico Toner. So the Pico Toner, I'm gonna continue to use and I've minimized my device routine. Like I haven't used radio frequency since what, almost two months now. I only use it <clears throat> um, the last time to film the Nebulif cell video for when <clears throat> I did you know, half my face with the R1, half my face with the N1, because I got so many requests to compare the two devices. Now, I'm gonna give you a little um, feedback on this. So, these are my favorite radio frequency devices. Now, they just released that R1C device. Oh, I always had to turn this on. And I've gotten a couple of people reach out to me who've purchased it, and they said, it's basically crap, okay? <laughs> so the R1C is a little bit smaller than the R1. It has the new um, electrode tip to where it has a bunch of electrodes gathered at the tip to work around your eyes and to really get into your nasal labial folds. Now this will fit everywhere all over your face, even into the nasal labial folds, and so will the M1. You don't need a specially designed um, head for it. They complained that it didn't get hot at all. The battery doesn't last that long. Now, I don't see why you would need to purchase the R1C, especially if you already have one. And if you do not have a Nebulift device, you're looking to get one. The R1C works just as good as the N1. This one does feel a little bit stronger, but they're both great devices, okay? The R1C, Nebulift didn't reach out to me about that device, um, and if they did, I would have said no because I don't like that they promote it to use around your eyes when there's no clinical trials there's no um, studies on using radio frequency around your eyes at home. It's not FDA cleared, okay? So you gotta be careful when you purchase these devices. You know, you gotta make sure you do your, re your research. You wanna research the feedback from others on how well their customer service is, how well they respond to you, and research the technology because Devices are such a cash grab right now. For instance, everybody's coming out with that LED device, an LED mask. They're not all great, they're not all powerful. Now, the two most popular on the market for the mask are, you know, Omnilux and Current Body. I would suggest you go for Omnilux versus Current Body because Current Body has horrible customer service and their devices don't last long. For instance, I have their lip perfector here and i purchased this back in november and you know i use it like pretty much every day I'm not really seeing much with it. it does help you know with my dry chap lips but that's about it the battery when i first got this used to last at least five or six treatments it lasts now for only two treatments so after every two treatments i have to recharge this now and it's a bummer because I paid a pretty penny for this. And I've heard a lot of complaints um, from those of you who follow along here about your current body devices. You know, like the wire connection here goes bad. Your device doesn't charge anymore. And that's why they offer that extended warranty for one or two years or for and longer that you have to pay at an extra charge so you could replace your device. Um, but I didn't purchase that because I was kind of leery about that. I was like, okay, so does that mean that it's not gonna last me long? We'll see. <laughs> and it's looking that way, which is such a bummer. So this retails for $180. And I used my friend Darcy from the Brazilian Girl Channel's discount code, and I saved money off, off of it. It came out to be $150. 
And, you know, I, I like it. I like that it's wireless, it's super easy to use, and you can make it multifunctional by taking off the mouthpiece and holding it over your eyes. But the battery is depleting so fast, and that's just not right. I have had my Enduro for almost three years now, and it's still kicking. I can get at least six treatments out of this, and that's 20 minutes, where this is only three minutes. So, the Aduro is my favorite LED light mask. Reason behind that is I love the quality of it. I love that I have options because all the other LED light masks, well, most of them, some are coming out now that have more options, but they don't have the option to use just red LED for those who have hyperpigmentation and melasma. And it's Act and it's triggered by heat. The Aduro has that. I often just use this on <clears throat> skin booster mode, which is red LED and infrared. I love that for my skin. The Aduro is a 20 minute treatment compared to the others. <coughs> Excuse me, here we go. <coughs> but I love what it does for my skin. Now, I can't tell you how the Omnilux is. It has near infrared and red LED, and I tend to stay away from near infrared because I have really sensitive thin skin, and it, near infrared can create a lot of heat under the skin and trigger certain things. Like for me, like, you know, I'm sensitive to heat. My rosacea could get triggered. So I stick with my Aduro. Um, I'm gonna continue on using my Aduro and my neck piece. Um, throughout you know the month of May and I'm I will probably change out my device routine maybe introduce you know the Usera uh, maybe when we do that summer series we'll see because I really love what the Pico toner does for my skin and I don't feel a need to use radio frequency or a skin tightening device because the Pico toner actually <clears throat> helps with all my concerns, skin plumping, skin tightening. It helps with <clears throat> building the skin density back in there, lymphatic drainage, lifting and toning. And I see more of a difference with using the Pico toner in one treatment than I have with any of these other devices that I have talked about on the channel. Radio frequency, um, you know, so I love it. Even like this, the Time Master Pro, I'll tell you one thing, once you use the, the Pico toner, the Time Master Pro has nothing on that. And you guys know how I feel about the Time Master Pro. So my current device routine is Pico toner, red LED light therapy. I use the Glow Booster H from Medicube at night to penetrate my serums into the skin. I love this. And then I pick up my Dermadisc. I'm on a treatment now with this and I use it about every other week instead of once a week. And then I use my Omnas, okay? So I recently picked up the new spring um, edition in Lilac. These are limited by the way, they have several colors. So I have three Omnas. My other one that I used to, that I used to only, I. Not only, but when I got my rose quartz one, I <clears throat> demoted that just to use on my scalp. So what I did is the clear one I now keep in my purse and like I had it today at work and in between patients, I was taking it on my body, over my clothes, on my legs, just to help with like the muscle soreness I've been experiencing because the Omna, you can use it on your body. And then if I'm in traffic, I just sit there and just take it and use it on my scalp. Now, I didn't need another Omna, but I love the Omna so much. Now, I'm seeing a lot of people talk about fascia now, and it's interesting because it's people out here on YouTube that you know never talk about any sort of facial massage or anything, but they're trying to sell you a device or a tool, and they're bringing up talking about fascia to sell you that tool. This is the real deal for working the fascia. Let me tell you what makes this special. So fascia isn't worked by sliding and gliding. Sliding and gliding, yes, it does smooth out the muscles. It helps with lymphatic drainage, you know, helps with product penetration. <coughs> Excuse me. 
But in order to really work that fascia, you have to get in there with your fingers through a special technique or use a tool like the Omna. So the Omna is specially designed. These are called the fingers. And that's what you use to work your fascia at the surface level. And these are what work that fascia to help get rid of the adhesions and the distortions. Your thumbs here, these are great for pressure points or when you get on an area that's tender, like here in front of your ear, you can press and hold it and do a little massage with it. You can also use it on the side of your nose. You can use the spine for those deep fascial holes that we talk about that we need to do. And also you can use it to flush the lymph out of the skin. So the Omna is designed to be like a therapist's fingers on your skin working that fascia out. And this is the best tool that was ever created to use on working your fascia. And I highly recommend it. And don't fall for, you know, what people are talking about with fascia these days. <laughs> the word has gotten out and I'm glad it's gotten out, but you just have to consider where you're getting your information from because they're not educated in fascia. I've been working my fascia since 2015. I introduced fascia to the channel in 2018. I have been talking about it for years, and you guys know that. I preach it, how important it is. Go with the true fascia tool, which is the Jade Man Omna, especially for your face, and it is multifunctional to where you can use it on your body to work that fascia. Okay, so there we go with that. So those are my devices and tools that I'm going to be continue on here now. I am going to go over with you skincare. So skincare, the only osmosis products that I'm currently using are Renew, which is their vitamin A serum. So this is the highest or the, this is their level for vitamin A serum, retinaldehyde. They have Calm, which is level one, correct, which is level two, I believe. This is level four and then they have Clarify, which Clarify is more of a spot treatment for acne clients. And then I use their DNA Repair C Serum, which is Catalyst AC11. I have Rescue, I use it as an as need basis. Now I am going to continue on with Osmosis, but I'm going to change it up. So I'm going to place an order for their Replenish Serum. And instead of using both of these during the day, I'm gonna use Replenish during the day and use these at night. And the reason being is I want to kind of budget my skincare a little bit more and it'll help these last longer. These last me about eight weeks because I only use a half a pump of each morning and evening. Well, they'll last me longer if I add in Replenish. Plus, Replenish is amazing. It has so many wonderful antioxidants in it and collagen stimulators that I really want. My focus during the day is not only protecting my skin from the sun, but that antioxidant uh, protection because during the day is when we come into contact with a lot of pollutants and it's really important to have good antioxidants on the skin besides vitamin C. You want those on your skin, protecting it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I also, um, as you guys know, I've been um, recently introducing Neogenesis into my skincare routine. I absolutely love the Recovery um, Serum. This is my favorite. These, these are amazing. Skin Serum is amazing and so is Recovery. Now, if Stem Factor, I stopped using that because I just really wasn't noticing a difference in my skin with that. I mean, if it was doing anything, I didn't really notice. It just made my skin look a little bit softer, but you don't, you see things with these Growth Factor Stem Cell Serums, but you really don't. What they do is they help repair and help prevent, okay? Recovery was, um, <coughs> I'm sure you guys know this. I don't need to go over that. I'm going to take another sip of water. I keep coughing. 
What? <sighs> when Misha wants to say hi. Come on. Come say hi. Come. Come. Oh. Here's the little baby. Isn't she so cute? Oh, she's my little love bug. Hi, love bug. Can you say hi to everyone? Oh, she's so cute, isn't she? She's been a bad girl today. Oh my gosh. She doesn't like it when I work a long days, and today she was a really, really bad girl. We should have named her Mischievous Misha. Because <laughs> she gets into trouble a lot these days. I told my husband we need to get another one. It would keep her out of trouble, but he doesn't believe me. <laughs> All right, so if recovery is out of your price range, I would suggest you go with Skin Serum. I love Skin Serum too. Now, Skin Serum, I do love to use underneath my um, Neogenesis Glide my, um, Conductive Gel. It's a beautiful treatment. And I know this is like really, really bougie. And uh, for the longest time, I was like, I just can't see how you can spend like $300 on a serum, but it's totally worth it. So recovery was mainly made or introduced for those who've had procedures done that they needed something to help their skin heal really fast. And recovery really helps with that. Like if microneedling, this is great to put on after you cosmetic microneedle or um, medical microneedle after you've had laser, any of those type of procedures. You have, you know, sunburned skin. It helps repair the skin. It's amazing. And people started including this in their daily skincare routine, using it twice a day because they were seeing such amazing results in their skin. So this is stronger than the skin serum. So whichever one fits your budget, you can't go wrong with. And they're both great. I love them both, but the, I love the recovery the best. I'm loving it. I'm going to continue to use it. That is a love. Um, I have other favorite uh, products here from Neogenesis. Everything that I've tried has been so great. I've fallen in love with it. I will continue to try more. From their moisturizers, I do have my sample here for my trial size of the Intent uh, Light moisturizer i had i have an intensive moisturizer which i've tried and after my dermatist treatment and the barrier renewal cream i love this one the intensive moisturizer i love the burial renewal cream i picked this one up to try um to see how it would work as a daytime moisturizer i haven't tried it yet but i will soon because I'm debating on what I want to do with my moisturizer. Um, I'll get into that in a second. I love the Botnia, but I want to try the Neogenesis. So I think I'm going to order the Neogenesis full size of the light moisturizer and the intensive moisturizer. And I'll use the light moisturizer during the day and the intensive moisturizer at night, maybe. We'll see. I may just go with the light moisturizer because I want to try it um, because I hear such great things about it and I love the other two so much. So I'm going to incorporate that into my routine. Now, I love their eye serum. This is great. Um, it really does help with the crepiness around the eyes. I noticed that my eyes do look a little bit brighter, a little bit more lifted. It's still early to tell because they've only been using this for, I think it's maybe like two or three weeks now but I do like it and it will definitely be a repurchase, I believe. Um, moisturizing mist, you guys, I know that you guys know I love this. This is my second bottle. Love, 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 favorite cleanser. I love their cleanser. Oh my gosh, it is so good. This is a nice gentle gel cleanser. It doesn't really foam up like a traditional gel cleanser but it is really gentle on the skin, but effective in removing dirt and oils. And I use this as my morning cleanser and I've been using it as a second cleanse. Love, love, love. Does it make my skin feel dry or anything like that? And I absolutely love their conductive gel. Now their moisturizers, their eye serum, the conductive gel, the mist and the cleanser are you know, on the affordable price range, their serums are where it gets pricey. Now, <clears throat> Botnia. I love the Botnia products. So I have their restorative face cream here that I've been using and I'm almost out of it. 
and their hydrating serum. I have been incorporating these three along with their eye cream in my daily skincare routine and I absolutely love them. I wanna try the Neogenesis light moisturizer and compare them to how much I like them versus the Botnia. Now, Botnia, <clears throat> everything I've tried, I love so far, just like the Neogenesis line. Um, the thing with the Botnia products is that they are made to use now. So when you are picking up the Botnia line, they're meant to use fresh. So you want to purchase these products with the intentions that you're going to use them right away. Otherwise, they're going to go bad and you're going to waste your money. So that's why I picked the Botnia products up to test around this time besides the Neogenesis um, moisturizers because these I have to use before they go bad. So I want to make sure that I use them and don't waste them. Now their eye cream, I do like. It is really nice. It's a nice cream and it's very light and very hydrating into the skin. It does what it says. It does take a little bit to blend into the skin though. And it does have a little bit of a fragrance to it, just so you know. It is um, free of essential oils and I believe it is, there is some rose distillate in here. So that's what you're smelling. I haven't had any issues with it causing any irritation or anything like that in my skin. Every Botnia product that I've tried, I've loved. I have never had any irritation or inflammation in my skin from them. They're all good. My favorites are the Soothing Repair Mask, Kale Kill Ya yeah Mask, the Flower Power Mask, Essential Enzymes, Renewing Face Wash. I love their Hydrating Serum. I love the Restorative Face Cream. Love, love, love. Will definitely be a repurchase in the future. Their eye cream, I'm still getting used to. I do like it, but I don't know if it's a favorite, just so you guys know. It does feel really, really nice. I have to give it more time though, okay? It does look really nice on my skin. I put it on this hand, so it did a good job at hydrating and evening out my skin tone and brightening it there. <clears throat> Another favorite um, that I will con be continuing to use is Adipo. So I am on my third bottle of Adipo now, and I use it twice a day. In the morning, I put it on as a mask, and some nights I wear it as a mask, remove it and apply my skincare, and then some nights I just apply it over my serums, and then I just leave it on and use it as a face cream. Because when you <clears throat> put it on as a mask, and then you have to remove it and put on your skincare, especially at night when you're tired and you just want to you know, get it over with, it doesn't work out. I'm still seeing great results with this. Now, I'm gonna continue on of using it twice a day until this is done reassess my skin and go from there. I'll probably be using this for a while, so I will place another order for more. My thought is, is maybe I'll just use it once a day and then I'll go into a maintenance phase of just using it twice a week after that and see where we go from there. I do love the Adipo. I see great things in my skin with it. I think it's definitely worth a shot. Um, for you guys to look into if you, you know, have noticed that you've lost some of the plumpness in your skin, um, some of those um, fat pads, it's worth looking into to see if it would work for you. It's a cheaper solution than a lot of things out there. Also, the Pico Toner will help with that fat cell regeneration. Actually, all microcurrent will because it regenerates the cells. Where you will see um, depletion of those fat cells is if you're using electrical muscle stimulation. I do not like electrical muscle stimulation for the skin because it is too much current going through the skin to reach those muscles. Electrical muscle stimulation works great on the bigger muscles of your body to release tension, but on the face to use it for tightening and toning those muscles, it's not, it's not good. And they, they're they starting to see, it's not out there yet in a science study, but there are <clears throat> people out there who are studying this, is that they think that it may leak, <coughs> excuse me, 
So sorry about that. Uh, allergies. Woohoo! <laughs> so they're starting to, to see that electrical muscle stimulation may be contributing to fat cell degeneration and degeneration of the cells because it's a very strong current that your skin can't handle, especially for those of us who have thin skin like me. And I've had issues with electrical muscle stimulation on my skin, and that's the reason why I refuse to use it. I've gotten broken capillaries from it because it's just so strong. It's not meant to be used on the face. It's meant to be used on the body to treat the bigger muscles. Now, you can use it on your neck to treat the bigger muscles, like back in through here, like your sternomasculoid, right in here in the back of your neck, your traps. But I wouldn't put it anywhere near this area on my face, okay? Um, so be really careful with that, especially, you know, if you're over 40, if you're perimenopausal or menopause, because this is when it's a critical time for us to really pay attention to what we're doing to our skin, making sure we're not doing too much. And we're using the right skincare on the right devices because, you know, once we hit perimenopause, we lose about 30% of our collagen and then it adds up to like, what is it, 2% a year after that. So you have to be really careful and mindful and don't get sucked into the hype of devices and certain skincare, go with what resonates with you. And just keep in mind that a lot of these people out there that are, you know, talking about the latest and greatest device, they use a lot of devices and you don't know if they're truly testing these devices. I mean, they could throw up a before and after picture, but you don't really know, especially if they're doing this full time because they're out there to sell you something, you know, a cash grab to make a buck. So I just wanna put that out there, be very mindful. If you need help, please reach out to me. I, you know, I'm always here to help you. Just keep in mind that I do work a full-time job. I have a family. This is not my full-time gig, so I may not get to your comment right away. I have a very busy, you know, schedule and sometimes I don't get to answer your comments right away and I apologize to that because I need to look at the comment and be able to answer it and give you advice and sometimes I just don't get to it right away. So uh brings me to another thing I want to bring up. Oh I'm almost done with my aura lift. I have about two more weeks to go and then I will do that comparison video of my final treatment love as you guys can see there's some good changes going on in my face still i'm using the pink device now only using it an hour um once in the morning once at night every third day so i'm almost finished another thing too i wanted to add i am using the mysama green ribose press serum and their gel balm cleanser on my led light days which i haven't done led light at all this week ah. I know. <laughs> um, so that's basically it for my skincare routine. Besides, this is currently my favorite SPF. This is the Is Clinical Eclipse SPF 50. I'm still continuing to look for more, but what I like about this is it's affordable in the sense that it's $48 for uh, 3.5 ounces compared to most. So this is a mineral sunscreen. This one is in their beige tint it does kind of look um a little bit ghostly on me but i i wear foundation so that doesn't matter to me but i will get um <clears throat> more of that now if you guys want to see my current skincare routine i do have a video on that i did already go over that with you and i will be changing it up here by adding in different moisturizer soon all right another thing is somehow the thank you button got activated here on my channel. I'm not sure how that got activated. I didn't do it, but I'm going to deactivate it if I can, because I appreciate you guys, you know, donating money to my channel. But honestly, I would rather you take that money and spend it on yourself or put it to a good cause. You don't need to feel obligated to give me money. Where you can support me is by watching my videos and liking them. Also, if you, you know, see something that interests you that I talk about here, 
use my um, discount codes and my links. That's how you can help me and support my channel because these companies do track that as well. Not only do I earn a small commission to which I put back here in the channel, but I'd rather you take that money and put it towards you know, getting something for yourself instead of just giving me money like that. I just don't like that. And, you know, I'm not here to make money. I'm here to help you guys and, you know, share my passion with you. You guys are my soul tribe. And just so you know that these videos that I make for these series, like the New Year, New You, the Spring Reset series, is I do not tag these videos. So if you're here watching this, you're meant to see it. You're part of my soul tribe. I love doing these type of videos because I can sit down with you guys like we're having a girls night or, you know, we're having a night out, you know, just chatting around and sharing our passions of skincare, makeup, devices, hair tools. You know, um, I feel like you guys are, you know, you're my friends and none of my friends share this. They share the same passion as me. They come to me for advice, but they don't want to hear my full like geek out session about why you should be using this and why you shouldn't be using that. They just don't like get it. And you guys are the only ones that get it. And that's why you're here and you're all my friends. And I just love you so much. And I want to thank you for all the support and love that you get, give me. And those of you that have been, you know, here since the beginning of my channel, I love you so much. I love you all so much, but you have stuck with me and seen me grow. You've seen me go through hardships here since I started um, almost five and a half years ago, and you're still here. And thank you, thank you so much for all your love and support. It means more to me than you know. Um, so I have a couple things on my wish list, but before I get into that, I did pick up a new concealer. I picked up the LYS concealer. This is a triple fix full coverage brightening concealer. It is not full coverage, but I like it. The reason why I picked this up is I have been using my Ilia True Skin Serum um, concealer, but this has vitamin C in it and it oxidizes. So it changes color. It gets darker. So this is no longer my color anymore and it looks off. It doesn't blend well. Um, in with my foundation. So I love this, but it oxidizes. So this has to go bye bye because it just is no longer a match for me. The Charlotte Tilbury, I love it. I love this mainly with my number one day Chanel foundation because it's a little bit more coverage than the Rose Ink. If I put this on, it has more coverage than the Rose Ink. And also, this is a radiant concealer and I'm looking for something that is more matte to use underneath my eyes because it draws less attention to the hollows versus something that is illuminating, luminous, or radiant. It draws light to those hollows and you can really see them and I've tested it and it does. So I was at Sephora on my lunch and I saw this and I tested it on my hand and I was like, oh, this is nice. It's like a really nice light formula feels really good, it hydrates, it blends well into the skin, and it looks perfect all day. Now, my thing is, is one, it's hard to get this back in the tube. Um, at my Sephora, they didn't have that many colors, and I just chose this one. I tested it on my hand, and it looked fine, but I have it on today, and it's a little bit too light. So I went online, they have so many choices. There's like five different mediums in neutral. So I ordered three um, more to get my true color size because I can't find it anywhere. I know I'm gonna have to return this one. I'm gonna have to return like probably two of those other ones and I do not like doing that, but it's hard to pick your color with this. This is something that you have to try on. Otherwise you're just gonna guess and then you're gonna have to return. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's only $19. Woohoo! The Charlotte Tilbury, I think, is $38 or $35. The Ilia, I think, is like $28. This is $19, and it is a beautiful formula. So I hope that I find the right color and I will continue to use it and let you guys know, but it's such a great deal. 
I have to look more into this brand. The thing is, is I'm, I'm not into cream products, as you guys know, and most of their other products are cream. So when I saw this concealer, I'm like, oh, let me try it. I'm, I'm actually really, really impressed with it. <clears throat> so I have a couple things on my wish list. Um, I want to invest in the block therapy. I know I keep talking about it, but I'm going to invest in it. It's just that it's such a big investment. Um, you know, the initial investment of purchasing the starter program with the blocks, and then you have a monthly membership for that. If you choose to do the membership, it's like $49.95 a month. Of course they do it in tiers. So if you buy a year, it's cheaper. <clears throat> But, you know, as I say, everything happens for a reason. Like with the Pico Toner, I've been wanting this for the last two years. And mainly so within the last year. But I'm like, oh, I don't know. Okay, I, I do. And then they released a new version and I, I picked it up. So it, it was meant for me not to get it a few years ago and meant for me to get it now. Now... With the block therapy, they're releasing a new tool. So I didn't pick it up yet because I kept going back and forth like the Pico toner. I'm like, oh, it's such an, ex it's so expensive, but I really love the block therapy. Using it, doing the nine day sa sampler program with the towel, it's just, I have like exceeded the towel now and I need to get in there with those blocks to release those deeper adhesions with my fascia. So they're releasing a new tool. It's gonna to be out soon. So I guess it wasn't meant for me to pick it up right away. I wanna see what this new tool is, see if they have any sort of package with the starter kit and the block buddies, and I will keep you guys posted. Um, I'm gonna order the beige from Mai, which is her Kanza Gua Sha tools. And we're gonna do some microcurrent with those. Um, also, I put on my list is the light stem now i really want to get the light stem ellipsa panel but it's super expensive i don't think i'll be able to afford that for a long time um i have to tell you that this concealer just really blends nicely into the skin like it does not leave any like it does not enhance wrinkles in my hands <coughs> and i put it over that botnia yeah eye cream, by the way, and it just looks really, really good. So I'm thinking about picking up a light stem for wrinkles. Um, I really want that. You guys know I've been wanting that for a while. I just would like it as a handheld. And I'm thinking about maybe um, in our next series is I'll test out the light stem for wrinkles for the next 30 days for you guys. Um, for those who aren't into a mask, the light stem for wrinkles, in my opinion, has the best um, red LED light technology. It is patented, just so you guys know, but it is the best technology for using LED light therapy. It's just that it takes a long time. <coughs> I'm going to cough again. I apologize for this, guys. It takes a long time because you have to hold it in each area for three minutes, where a mask, you can put it on wear it for 10 minutes, wear it for 20 minutes, and you're done with the light stem, it's three minutes, and you have to be plugged into the wall with that. So it's not as convenient, but the technology is really, really good. So we'll see. And that's all I have on my wish list now. I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you were interested. So I'm gonna go now because I have been chatting here for a very long time now. I keep coughing. <coughs> Now, I'm not gonna leave any links to any of these products that I talked about um, tonight in this video. I'm gonna do a favorites video and I'll, you know, you can go back to my other videos. You'll see the links like in my skincare video. I linked all these products that I talked to you about tonight. I have, I'll put my standard discount and links there and you can, you know, see some of these devices and things that I have talked about there. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. Now, um, this weekend, I do have a big party on Saturday. I'll try to pop in to film my device routine to get prepared for that. Um, but I was also thinking that I think I'm going to take a little break and enjoy my weekend. Um, I don't have to go back to work until Wednesday of next week. 
Monday I get my hair done, so I might come back on Monday, film a favorites video, because I haven't done one yet, a favorites and fails video, and then we'll just kind of go from there on what kind of content I'll be putting out. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening wherever you are. I'm sending you all so much love and light and have a beautiful weekend. If I don't see you, happy weekend. Bye. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day.